Hey guys, today we're going to use a single light with a booty dish and one of these, one of these, and even both of them. Come on, let's go and terrorize John. Hi guys, so John is back here after probably over 12 months away from the studio. So uh, chuffed a bit to have him on board with us today and I'm gonna terrorize him by pointing a single light directly in his face with two modifiers on the front. The two modifiers are a sock and the honeycomb grid. What I'm hoping to bring to you today is uh, an idea of the difference the modifiers make on the front of the booty dish. For those of you that's interested in the gear that's being used in today's shoot, it is as follows. Uh, my tripod is a Benro and it's the, the Mac range with a G3 ball head. On top of that is my Sony a7R4 with a G Master lens on the front 24105. I'm going to be shooting at 24mm today, so quite wide. Uh, on top of the camera is the Photix Odin uh, transmitter receiver and I can control the lights from that. Today we're only using the single light, and that light above is the Photix Indra 500 watt. Okay, that's powered by this portable battery pack that's on a C-stand uh, with uh, your grip arm and knuckle to adjust and bring the beauty dish over the top of my camera without interrupting the, the relationship between the stand and the camera. So that is about it in terms of, it's quite a, a simple setup. That's it in terms of uh, what we've got today, so let's crack on and shoot. So guys, to give you a bit of a rundown of today's setup, let me just explain to you what we're using and maybe the distances between the, the, the light, the backdrop, the camera, the model, etc. So today we're gonna to be using a 27 inch beauty dish, okay? And the beauty dish inside, you can, you can get sort of silver or white sort of uh, interiors. Today we're using a white interior of the booty dish so that should uh, that should probably give less contrast than the silver okay and on the front just here we'll be using the diffuser sock on the front and also we can use the uh, the grid the honeycomb grid okay what we'll do is We'll run through a few different scenarios where I will use the bare beauty dish uh, just with the white interior. Then I'll go on to use uh, just the sock. Then I'll use just the grid and then maybe even the grid and sock. What I'm anticipating happening is the, the, the various sort of power levels uh, moving up and down according to uh, what modifiers on the front because of course if you put the grid on the front it's going to channel the light more and I may have to ramp the power up that little bit more. Uh, again with the sock and grid it'll probably mean increasing the power uh, further again. So we're going to kick off uh, and do a couple of shots literally with just the boot dish with no modifier on the front. In terms of the distance uh, we have a 27 inch booty dish therefore I'm placing John approximately 27 inches away from the booty dish. The booty dish is directly above my camera and tilted at a 45 degree angle, okay? And this will just pump the light in just down from above, uh, casting a few shadows under the nose, the cheekbones maybe, and under the neck. That'll add a little bit of drama to the portrait as well. John will be placed around about 12 inches off the backdrop. And again, what I'm anticipating is the effect that the modifiers have on the backdrop. I'm anticipating that with the bare dish without the modifiers on the front, I'm anticipating a spread of light bringing the backdrop into play, uh, exposing the, the backdrop quite a bit as well. As time goes on, I'll probably use the, the grid and the sock and that should shrink down the sort of footprint of the backdrop, if you like, because more light is gonna be channeled in on John's face, okay? I'm also gonna shoot this, uh, or attempt to shoot this rather, with maybe some hands in or hands folded, uh, and I've not just a close-up portrait, but maybe torso as well. So without further ado, let's crack on. Let's get some shots up and see what effects we can get. Okay, so we're gonna fire off a couple of test shots. And at the moment, I'm going to be starting with native uh, 200th of a second, uh, 
ISO 100 and F8. I want John to be completely sharp. Uh, that's actually fine, John. I quite like the straight down stance. Uh, we'll take a couple of shots now with the power on one eighth of the power. So that's, that's good to go. Here we go. Magic. Wow. Straight out of the camera, that looks half decent, to be fair. There's some slight fall off at the bottom, but that's to be expected. Uh, but, like I said earlier, uh, we do have a lot of light spread. Uh, I like it, it's exposed well. And literally, with no diffuser on the front at all, I've got a real good look out of this beauty dish. So, I might just turn this setting down just a quarter of a stop, okay? And see, because the front of John's forehead is relatively hot. It's not burnt out, but it's quite, quite warm. Okay, John, thank you. That's better, that's perfect. Uh, and if I, if I was to zoom in right now, perfect. We've got two good catch lights in John's eyes and a proper frowning face. So uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that actually. And that is one eighth of the power uh, minus the, the third of a stop. And it's two hundredth of a second F8 ISO 100. So it's quite a cool look. But what we're going to do now, we're going to stick the sock on the front. So let's go ahead and uh, grab the sock and pop that on the front of this dish. like so can be quite fiddly that went on quite easy okay so what we're going to do now is we've got the sock on the front so we might we might get away with it on the same power let's have a look we'll go just straight uh one eighth there we go okay john nice look that's great wonderful Wow, look, I really like that look too. Uh, what I have noticed is by putting the sock on the front, the temperature between this with the sock and this one without the sock, it's a lot cooler without the sock. So this, the diffuser sock seems to have warmed it up a bit, but also taken away some of the contrast, both of which I really like the look. So uh, yeah, I'll leave that to you to decide. What we'll do now is we'll stick just the grid on and we'll see what that does to the backdrop uh, at the moment we don't seem to have lost too much light and it's give us a decent look so if i can just pop this sock off and replace it with this grid these are always can be quite tricky to pop on as well but i'm having a good day they've gone on relatively easy okay so we'll do exactly the same shot there's nothing special um like i said at the beginning it's just literally terrorizing john by pointing the camera straight in his face and one light so uh let's see again 200th of a second f8 iso 100 and the light power is one eighth of, a, of the power uh not forgetting it's a 500 watt light okay here we go one two three perfect wow Okay, what a massive, massive difference. Uh, it's basically, uh, at that power, it's taken away literally the whole of the background, apart from a sort of round circle around John's face um, and immediately behind his face. So we've got this sort of um, vignette going on around it, uh, but it, it has increased the contrast uh, a fair bit. So um, am I a fan of this look? I don't think so. Uh, what I will try and do is I'll try and take it from one eighth of the power down to, uh, let's, tr let's try half the power. So I'm pumping some more light in now to see if we can get a little bit more on the background and see what it does in terms of the harshness of that vignette that's just been caused. Okay, John, here we go. One, two, three. Okay. For me, this isn't working. What we do have, well, it's certainly not to my liking. Again, we just have an exaggerated version of what we spoke about earlier, but by putting extra power through just the grid. One way we can potentially 
uh, curve that whilst keeping that little bit of contrast is by adding the, the sock to the grid. So essentially we have both modifiers on the front and see what that gives. Let's just try that. Uh, I'm just going to pop the sock over the top if I can. Again, this is pretty much trial and error. So there we go. Okay. Just pop that on there. So we'll keep it on half power, but now we've added the sock to the grid that's already on there. Okay, John. Three, two, one. Perfect. Okay. We're getting there. That sock have changed a hell of a lot about the picture. So uh, what it's done is it's taken away that sharp vignette. It's taken away the sort of the, the circular orb that was surrounding John um, and the immediate background behind. So what we do have now, we have a darker shot. However, it's far more even, but it's kept the contrast in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the light on full power. Okay, so we will have to pump a bit more light through it. So I'm anticipating that this will leak a fair bit more onto the backdrop. Let's have a look and see what we get. Okay, John, could potentially be the last shot of the day. So give me that blue steel look. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Perfect. That's really nice. Um, wow, okay. Uh, it's done exactly as I said. Um, it, we, yes, we had to put the light on full power, but what it's done is it's warmed the image up, number one, it's kept the contrast in, number two, and it's evened out the light spread on the backdrop. I really like it. And that, for me, is it. So a quick recap on what we've done today. We've gone through the beauty dish without any modifier on. We've then added the sock, added, added the grid rather, then added the sock, then added the grid and sock. And um, what I'll do now is uh, we'll pop these raw files up on the screen for you to take a look at now. And you can compare them side by side and see which ones uh, you prefer. It just goes to show that with one light, you can get a real good effect, a real good dramatic effect. I do think it suits males more than females. I think if I had a female model in front of the camera, I could potentially pop a reflector underneath and have a more uh, clamshell, clam light uh, effect on the model and that would lift the shadows under her chin, under her nose and eyes etc. But for this one, uh, with John's features, I really wanted the light coming down, give the, that dramatic look, but I made sure that the booty dish was down low enough to pop the catch lights into John's eyes. So there we go. So thank you John for that yeah, and uh, yeah, I think we've got the shot. I'm looking forward to uh, editing them and getting them out there and yeah just a quick one from me today so look thank you for your time and please if you've enjoyed this video uh why not subscribe and even hit the bell for the notifications did i say that right is that really me whatever okay until next time guys take care